I found an actual real-life message in a bottle. Ooh, is it a love letter? A secret recipe? Or wait, someone's trapped on a deserted island! We have to save them! It's a treasure map. It looks just like this beach. Amazing! Let's go! Look, there it is. I wonder if it's filled with loot. The treasure is a treasure map! Follow the trail to the top of the MFBO and look for the X at the end of the... It's a code! If only we had a decoder ring! Well, that's convenient. Follow the SH shells to the pier and look for the X at the end of the RAI rainbow! Look! There's a trail of shells! <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs> This is the pier. Now where's the... Rainbow! X marks the sushi. Excuse me, do you know anything about a treasure map? Arrgh! Congratulations! Ye mateys followed ye map to find the bounty of X sushi! Yes! What's our treasure? 20% of any hand roll. Plus, all ye can eat wasabi. Arrgh! That's it? The treasure is a sushi truck. That's amazing! Mmm. Mmm. I like it. <laughs> so spicy! to blow your feeble minds with some serious magic. Yeah, uh, Trixie, everyone believes that you're great and powerful. You don't have to prove it. Don't worry, I got this. I'm worrying, I'm worrying. Magic, don't fail me now. Abra! Dabra? Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, feast your eyes on the great and powerful Trixie's astounding power of telekinesis. Whoa! 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 You're welcome. I am all powerful. Welcome to Rock Talks with Maud. Are you ready for rocks? Me too. I'm thrilled that you are here at the Canterlot Natural History Museum to learn about rocks, minerals, fossils, and last but not least, landforms. As you can see, our display is currently undergoing some metamorphic changes. It's been rocky getting this new one off the ground and we're all feeling the pressure. That's a little rock business humor for you. Ha ha. Good one, Bob! <laughs> Thank you. Minerals are classified as naturally occurring substances formed in a geological process. They feature a crystalline structure in addition to specific physical properties and chemical composition. Now for something really fun. I will point to the sedimentary rocks. There, and there, there. That one. There, and there. Ready that for one. what we planned with there. Maud? Mm-hmm. Let's one. do it. Thanks to the rock cycle, we also have these gems. Friction heats up rocks. Baked rock doesn't melt. It forms them into crystals. Whoa! But all of it starts with hot magma rising to the crust through volcanic pipes. You might know it as lava. <laughs> Magnificent. And the process of fossilization is the reason we have these dinosaur bones. Imagine, if you will, that these colossal prehistoric beasts are walking through the museum right now. Oh. Look at that. You don't have to imagine. Dino might. As a proud member of the Mod Squad, I just wanted to ask, will you sign my geology book? Cheese sandwich! Okay, once more with Gruyere! 
splotchy thing in the background. It's a sea monster. We just caught it on camera. Hold on. I'm sure there's a logical explanation. A sea monster? I gotta see it to believe it. But I already believe it! But I don't hear anything. Something's out there, and I'm gonna find out what it is. Who's with me? Ooh, over here! I'll go. Maybe I can hear it better underwater. You guys go ahead. I'll do some investigating of my own around the beach. Hmm. What you looking for? Answers. Huh? Don't worry. I'll let you know when I have them. Hurry. We have to move quickly so it doesn't get too far away. I'm ready. I'm not ready. Where's my floaty? There's no time. <gasps> <gasps> Jimmer, Pinkie Pie, watch out! We saw it! We saw the monster again! I know! I saw it too! See? I told you! It was real! It's not only real, it's right there! Ah! I think I caught our monster. My floaty! <laughs> Foiled again. Eh. I knew you would come back to me. <sighs> Today's prettier than a peach pie at a picnic. It's perfect for mauve fringe. Oh, well, mauve fringe isn't going on till five. Oh no 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 no! I am referring to my star swirl look. <laughs> Cool breeze, the ideal accessory for fringe. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's happening? That's strange. The next total umbral solar eclipse isn't for another 300,000 days. And that's obviously not what we're talking about. <laughs> <gasps> Rain! But, 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 this is suede! If it gets wet, it's ruined! By extension, the whole festival! Not to mention the rest of my life when I have to recall this devastating turn of the weather! Oh, why, why, why? Why did it have to drizzle? Well, you see, when high-pressure air meets... Help me! I got an idea. Oh, me too. Gotta see. If it's raining cats and dogs, get yourself some fishing hogs. Yes, that's quite whimsical, but perhaps I'm missing some poetic nuance that explains why we are mucking about in a muck puddle. It means you gotta look for the silver lining. Like how mud's perfect for finding <laughs> fishing bait. <laughs> mud's also great for camouflage when you need to sneak up on a pig real quiet like. Why ever would anyone need to sneak up on a pig? If you have to ask, you don't want to know. And I'm only talking about mud on your hands, arms, neck, and face! Oh, this mud mask is excellent for the poor. Thanks, Applejack. Huh. Guess there's a silver lining for everyone. You sure you don't want to go worming? Entirely. You know, this doesn't really fix her problem. But she looks so happy. For the last three weeks, I've been brainstorming equipment to engineer in the statistically probable case of inclement weather, including but not limited to a raincoat with a water collection system, a self-drying umbrella, and detachable windshield wipers for eyeglasses. Fabulous. Which ones did you make? None. I only brought garbage bags to help clean up. <laughs> Do you not care about helping me? Wait, highlight. Trash bags! You are a genius! I am? Woohoo! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right! Rain ponchos? You're a genius! No, we're a genius. Plus, look, rain ponchos with fringe! Forget 
Forget your jacket. Look at your hair. <gasps> I love it. You, you do? I mean, of course you hashtag rain hair don't care. It appears working for me had a lasting effect on your taste. Trend setter. Rain hair don't care is a trend. I mean, you have to call me that's what I do. <laughs> Hello? Hmm. Hey, I hope this works. Darlings, consider this a good lesson learned. I have truly grown as a person, embracing this catastrophe to discover an inner truth, namely the... Must find hair dryer! <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations! You're our 1,000th customer, which means you get one free topping. <gasps> this is the best day ever! And now for the perfect topping! Dandy. Oh, um, don't pick me because I'm animal sitting and they're not allowed in the store. To me, I'd go for something fresh and sweet. Like... Candy? Fruit! Oh, I thought you were gonna say candy. Candy ain't fresh. Yeah, but it's candy. Just think about it. Fresh fruit is a burst of flavor in every bite. You're having fruit. Cherries. <laughs> Allow me. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow, you're right, Applejack. This real fruit sure is good. I know it is. <laughs> <laughs> Sucker. Sucker. <laughs> If I'm going to help you choose the perfect topping, we've got to do it methodically, which is why... Wait! We need to log our observations as we sample. Now, cinnamon candies are spicy and sweet, but may not blend well with a fruity yogurt. Chocolate chips or syrup would complement a fruit yogurt nicely. If we go with a chocolate or vanilla base, nuts would be the perfect crunchy treat. Individual sprinkles display a startling variance from the mean. What? Done. According to my calculations, the perfect topping is chocolate covered walnuts. Woohoo! Now, let's eat! Mm, we're gonna need another sample cup. <laughs> the chocolate covered walnuts were the right choice! <laughs> Never mind! <laughs> <laughs> this is a major health violation! Everybody out! I told you not to pick me. I don't know what came over me. I guess I'll just have to go toppingless after all. <gasps> For 
for me? I'll do my own calculations to empirically prove we're best friends forever. Right. Our friendship is unquantifiable. <laughs> it just means it can't be measured. Oh! <laughs> I could have told you that. Thank you for looking after my garden while I'm away on vacation, Twilight. I really appreciate it. I'm so excited, Spike. I even brought my own watering can. <laughs> this is the perfect chance to expand my knowledge of botany. Let's get to it. Give a little and you get a little and you care a little and it starts to show. Growing things is easy if you just give it room to grow. <laughs> well, hi there, little guys. How are you doing? Give a little, cause you care a little, and you try a little, and it starts to show. Growing quick is easy when you just get some room to grow. Starting small but growing tall. Your best friend, you can tell me all your woes. Jump over just a little bit, I need some room to grow. Come on, Twilight, help me out, I'm thirsty, I need those. Over here, I need some. Hey, bud, you don't gotta show. Help us, Twilight, we need more. That's the water we adore. Just a little extra taste, no bad at all. Whoa, go what the heck is going water. on here? I don't know what happened. I was just watering them and... and... It's that watering can, that's what. It's got magic. Oh, and Twilight, just be careful not to overwater the plants. Have fun!
<laughs> oh! Why ever do you have that swine accompanying you to school, Applejack? It's photo day for all the clubs, and it's a young farmer's club tradition to have your critter in the yearbook picture. You're lucky you're only in one club. I'm in five this year. So busy. Well, Young Farmers is just one of the six clubs that I'm in. Uh, oh, I meant five sports clubs. Sweeties, darling, loveies. It's not a competition. Us, we joined every single club at CHS. <clears throat> Not all the clubs. How did we miss that one? Uh uh uh, darlings. It's very exclusive. Is that my pig? Oh, well, of course. You can't expect me to be the president and the vice president. <laughs> Dictionary memorized and course set. Smooth sailing ahead. Ready about. I'm about ready for a snack. Care to try caramel cream puff? Mm -mm. Which is serendipitous that we're setting sail because I am winded. What's in the trunk, Rarity? Huh? Oh, just a change of clothes and a coat in case it gets chilly. Also a small folding table, various tools, a fashion reference library, and a bag of gems. You know, the essentials. The essentials, right. My calculations accounted for the weight of the boat, but I forgot to account for rarity. Oh. At sea, nothing's accounted for. Its tides are fierce, yet sublime. As beautiful as they are, chaotic. Cast away! Don't worry, I checked the weather. We should expect a strong westward gale in three, two, one. Ah! Only one who memorized the nautical dictionary. Turn! Oh! <laughs> We're way off course. Tack north! Almost back on track. If only we could get a little more power. you're with your friends. Especially if your friends have towels. The ocean. Vast. Mysterious. Wild. We may never fully understand her, but nonetheless, she commands respect. Ooh! Salted caramel! <laughs> Thank you so much for helping me with tonight's Canterlot Celestial Society member social, Pinkie Pie. No trouble, Space Rubble. Stars are like the glitter of the sky. I'm so nervous. 
My favorite astrophysicist, Rosette Nebula, is here. She's so smart and cool and probably very funny. Do you think she'll like me? Of course she will. Ooh, there she is, Rosette Nebula. I just have to meet her. And I have to get this celestial celebration into orbit. Did you know the smell of chocolate increases brain waves and contains the neurotransmitter serotonin, which triggers relaxation and contentment? Hmm, <laughs> sciency. I'm Rosette Nebula. Oh, I'm Twilight Sparkle. It's such an honor to meet you. Oh, I'm so interested to hear about you. She fixes water. everything. <laughs> You're all prepared because final exams are in two weeks. <gasps> ah! Ah! Don't worry, girls. We're gonna ace these finals. Hey, it's true, no stopping now. You're facing a big test. So much to do, so much to learn, so bring it, be your best. Feeling doubts, forgetting facts won't get you to the top. If you're gonna make it, you got to to rise up to the top of the class go straight to the top of the class rise up to the top of the class go straight to the top of the class and the hard part is getting going to get your mind on track put aside all those distractions cuz there's no turning back but you know it You can make it, you know what?